Ooh, hello. Hi, how are you doing? I can almost do animation. Hello, I'm an astronaut. Hi, this is really creepy. This is probably out of sync for you guys, but I'm having lots of fun. <laughs> Hi folks, my name's Lawrence Mann and hopefully I am streaming to you right now. I've decided to go ahead and draw an astronaut because while I was uh, image researching for a commissioned piece that I was talking to a client about, I, I just kept coming up with these, um, these great pictures of a spacesuit that was skin tight that NASA was saying was going to be the future of spacesuit design and it looked absolutely great this kind of skin tight spacesuit and I thought this was a brand new thing when I looked into it more it was on a TED talk the story was actually from 2014 I never like to come into a live stream with uh, a blank canvas you can do it it's quite easy and I've done it a few times before but I always prefer just to come in with a sketch because I know myself as a viewer it's not that fun to see somebody you know start with a blank canvas Nova asks what is your preference on pixel art uh, it's just like a lot of different styles I don't do it myself but I do enjoy looking at it quite a lot and there are some really really talented artists out there who do it I think there are some people who are just you look at it and you think yeah that's that's an amazing talent but it's like anything else the longer you spend on something the the better you will be at that right time to slap some colour on this because I'm really wanting to see that visor in green which is what the the kind of the spacesuit that I saw had and I really liked that because before they've all been kind of this goldy colour and everyone's used to seeing that and I like that but I thought the green was just really nice and the spacesuit itself was white obviously I'd play white as a kind of a cream maybe so I could just do it as red with white bits on it which make it really interesting Kind of go for the more cosmonaut feel. Uh, do I start in Photoshop or Corel Painter? Um, it it's really depends just on the mood I feel. Sometimes I start in Photoshop and sometimes I start in Painter. It's just it literally different days I start in different things. It just, you know, I wake up and you know, I might have been working in Photoshop one day and the next day I'll just wake up and I'll open that same painting in a different app. That's the good thing because I save as PSDs, I'll open that same painting in a completely different program just because I feel like it. You know, or sometimes it's because I need to achieve a different thing. Painter has a more natural brush mode. I find that Photoshop's brushes are more blocky. So if I want to paint natural faces, then I find Painter's better. If I want to paint more mechanical things, I find Photoshop's better. So if I'm painting cars or robots or things, I tend to stick with Photoshop if I'm painting animals or something I'll go into painter but I think as well Photoshop has a look and feel to it that you can't get away from like I can look at somebody's artwork and say oh yeah that's a Photoshop artist and the same with painter to a degree I think I can look at someone's artwork and say oh that person uses painter I'm just using the standard Photoshop brush here. 
I did use a specialised one on the pipes. I've got a few more that I could use on the rest of the suit, but more or less on my illustrations I tend to use the pretty standard ones. Now I'm drawing on the Wacom 27QHD which is a lovely piece of kit. As you can see I've got loads of room around my illustration here and the illustration is absolutely massive especially when you compare it to the rest of the rest of the palettes around here. You know that makes it absolutely brilliant to work on. Especially when I do use Corel Painter which has a lot more palettes for me to open than Photoshop. You know, it's a lot more palette intensive. But for right now, you know, I'm just uh, just quite happy working on a massively nice big screen. And I think as a professional artist and illustrator, you need this kind of screen size. There's no way around that. You know, before I was working on a 21 inch UX, and that was lovely and big. But, you know, after a while you get used to the size and then you need to go up again. And you will always just need to keep continuously upgrading and upgrading. And these things just keep getting better and better in quality as well. And they, they do as well. The Wacoms do get better. It's not just, you know, little bits here and there. I've got my Wacom remote, which is brilliant. Then I'm going to go into Liquify. There you go, look at that. You can see... It recognises a face in there. How cool is that? This is a drawing. This is not a photograph. So I can say, right, there you go. Make her chin bigger or smaller. I'm going to say make the nose a bit smaller. Upper lip. Can we make that a bit, a bit smaller? See, it won't be able to do this perfectly because it's a drawing. So let's go into the eyes and say, I want the eyes to be... A bit bigger. Eye width. No. They were fine where they were. Eye tilt. Ooh, that's creepy. And they were fine where they were. Eye distance. Ooh, creepy again. Oh, I like that though. There's been loads of times where I've done a drawing and the eyes have been, you know, a bit too far apart or a bit too near. That's great. Her face looks really squiffy now though. But again, that's not a problem. I could use the content aware but I'm not going to in this good old fashioned way which is to copy and paste elements I'm going to call that a day on my live stream and I hope you enjoyed that please remember to click subscribe and check out the videos on my channel you can also see more of my artwork on my website which is lawrenceman.co.uk you can find me on Twitter. You can find me on most social media sites by checking out Lawrence Can Draw. And you can find me on Facebook as well at lawrence.can.draw. Brilliant. Hopefully I shall see you very soon. And I will be doing a lot more of these live streams. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. And be sure to comment, like and even subscribe to my channel Lawrence Can Draw. And if you did like what you saw here, you can see more of it on my website, lawrencemann.co.uk.